As many bodybuilding fans know, Ronnie Coleman captured the 1999 Mr. Olympia title. And as many other people know, Flex Wheeler captured the silver medal. Second place, less and less people have the knowledge of who placed third, and that was Chris Cormier. But for those who are gurus like myself and huge bodybuilding fans, they know that Chris Cormier was a controversial third place at this event. In my opinion, Flex Wheeler was nowhere near as good as Chris Cormier was at this event. Of course, we can be fooled. Of course we can. Unless we do the comparisons, then we really never do know. Correct? We can say all we want, like a Dorianite, but you got to do the comparison and be fair. And in the front relaxed position, honestly, depending on who is judging this one, it could go either way. In my opinion, for my taste, Cormier has this one, for sure. His arms are smaller, but his proportions are better. His legs are much better. Of course, this is just one front relaxed position. This was at the same event, so I like to try to do a few comparisons. And this one shows the whole body, and it favors Chris Cormier, in my opinion. Those legs, much better. Flex Wheeler, no slouch at all in the lag department. He has the guns, he has the big giant arms, but when you look at the legs, I believe, and it's my firm belief, that his arms could stand to lose a few inches. In the back developments, the rear relaxed position, I think it favors Flex Wheeler when you consider the front relaxed position. I did like Cormier, the overall silhouette. But now it seems Cormier holds his arms back and he loses his his silhouette. There's no V-taper. I believe he does this to get that Christmas tree. So at the end of the day, Chris Cormier, probably better in the rear relaxed as well. It's the conditioning. Here's a little bit of a closer shot of both men. The glutes. This is an area where Chris Cormier always suffered and his opponent also. I don't see many striations in either of these glutes. So it's not going to be a weak point at all for Chris Cormier. I'd give Chris Cormier the symmetry round for sure. No questions asked. The muscularity round begins with a good one, a front double bicep pose. And I know I might, might hear Flex Wheeler has synthal in his arms. All right, show me the video evidence. Show me the, the footage of him injecting it into his arms. Because I'm here to tell you right now, I don't care who you are, unless you were the person holding the needle or in the room, you have no more evidence that Flex Wheeler was pumping Synthal into his biceps than you do Chris Cormier pumping into his biceps. So there, I may be inclined to believe that he may have had Synthal, but I don't know. There's no proof. I do like the flow of the front double bicep pose a little bit better for Flex Wheeler. So he does take a point. And I am rooting for Chris Cormier, of course, here in the front uh, lat spread. It's a close one. I have to admit, this is a close one, for sure. Of course, you can't see the whole body. There's a different one here. It shows. I think this one might favor Chris Cormier a little bit more. You can see the lats more prominent. Of course, the lags this time, they look bigger for Flex Wheeler. There is a third one. We have a luxury of having quite a few comparisons. And when I add them all up, to be honest, it is a close one. But Cormier had the advantage as far as the lats and just the broad chest, his chest much broader. I like him a little bit better. Plus the lags. There was a one shot there. Flex had a bigger set of lags, but... On a whole, Chris Cormier, I think, has a better set of legs. Side chest, this might be going to Flex Wheeler. Chris Cormier, not the best year for him, I guess, for this shot. His waistline seemed to be a little bit distended. Looks like he has gyno. I'm not saying he does, it just looks like he does. But then again, Flex Wheeler, not the best in this one either. His delt points out, and I never liked that look. Chris Cormier has that as well. This one seems to confuse things even more. The upper body, I definitely prefer 
on Chris Cormier this time. But when you look at the midsection, it appears to be a little bit distended in the, the upper regions of the stomach. But, I don't know, almost a toss-up in the side chest pose? I, I threw Ronnie into this one here. I couldn't help it. They probably called for the side tricep, and Ronnie looked at both of the gentlemen and thought to himself, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, sweet potato, you guys go ahead and mm -hmm, you snap that shot and I'll get you back with the most muscular. Mm -hmm, I'm not even going to bother, boys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But enough of the foolishness. Chris Cormier, nowhere near as good as Flex Wheeler in this shot. This is a dominant pose for the wheel man. Look at the, the definition of his tricep. Chris Cormier, he can do the normal rendition of it. But still, this is one of the few cases where the non-traditional side tricep is just too much, way too much. And if you look at the 93 flex wheeler, he hit it weird. He showed his back. He should have did this one. This one really displays his tricep well. Flex wheeler, I am rooting for Cormier in this, but hey, I have to call, call it fair. And flex wheeler definitely gets the side tricep. Turn these dudes around. And this is what ticks me off so much about these Dorianites that are in love with Flex Wheeler, a Flexite or whatever you would call it. Are they ignoring the fact that his back got worse and worse throughout the years? He obviously did not know how to train properly. Chris Cormier, this one here even displays the dominance even more. The glutes, Chris Cormier perhaps winning in the glutes. Definitely winning in the hamstrings. And when you, when you look at the calves, Flex Wheeler may have had bigger calves in certain shots, but they don't look like calves. They just look like weird, bulbous pieces. And his, his wingspan is non-existent. Anyway, I don't mean to pick apart Flex Wheeler, one of the greatest of all time. But still, <laughs> Chris Cormier destroying him from behind. Rear double bicep. This should be easily a flex wheeler pose. Genetically speaking, he was awesome in this. Chris Cormier a little bit more awkward in this shot than that of the rear or the rear lat spread, but still enough, I believe, to beat flex wheeler. I mean, look at the glutes. <laughs> Can you believe I'm saying that? Here's another one, and this is even more dominant. They were side by each. Ronnie Coleman, I believe, was in between them, but I I propped them side by each. You can see what I mean about the calves here. Look at the outer calf. That's not really supposed to be bigger than the inner calf, and it is for Flex Wheeler. But anyway, it doesn't matter. In his prime, Flex would have won this shot. But Chris Cormier, look at the conditioning of his hamstrings and even the glutes. For Chris Cormier, this was premium glute development. This is a winning back shot in this comparison. But anyway... Let's turn these guys back around and finish this competition off. A shot here, which I will fully admit Flex Wheeler would win if it was the 93 Flex and any other version besides the 1999 Chris Cormier. This Chris Cormier of 99 did not mess around. Look at the cuts in those abs. Far better. And Flex Wheeler Sometimes would sneak in a victory with the feathering in his quads. Chris Cormier also featured feathering in his quads. At the 99, Mr. Olympia. Definitely a win for Cormier. The most muscular. This is a close one. This is a close one. Both men look just world class. I know it's a good picture. I mean, there's filters put through them. But they look fantastic, I'm here to tell you. And it is a Peckham. And it is my personal preference. I do like the upper body, the chest, and the shoulders of Chris Cormier. Some people might argue and say that that muscle separation from delt to chest, much better for Flex Wheeler. But his delts are too overpowering for his chest. A most muscular needs to display those pecs much more. Both of the, these guys, their legs look fantastic. Flex might even have an edge as far as the muscle separation, but Cormier has a big set of quads. I don't know, in my opinion, Cormier takes this final most muscular shot, but even if he had lost, he would still be winning this entire competition. That's right, my opinion, Chris Cormier should have placed second at the Mr. Olympia in 1999.
Chris Cormier, he does not have a huge following like Dorian Yates. He doesn't have Dorianites following him. But I bet you dollars to donuts that for the people that did actually watch this and look at all the comparisons, I probably won't hear a whole lot of argument for this. So the, the people, they don't love Chris Cormier, and I don't know why, but nobody really argues that he was so good, so great. He was missing glutes. That's the only thing. Nothing else. He knew how to pose, never had a, a bubble gut issue. It was a little distended in the upper stomach, but that's not really a distension. But anyway, Chris Cormier, 1999, one of the greatest to have never won the Mr. Olympia title. And he continues with that record, and we will have a lineup, I promise you, one of these days. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Hit thumbs up. Have a great day.